One of the main topics of the Wizja Rozwoju Forum in Gdynia was the merger between the Polski concern Naftowy Orlen and the Lotus Group. Last month, PKN Orlen has secured the European Commission's clearance of its intent merger, closing an important phase of the merger process. The antitrust clearance marks a leap forward in building a strong multi-utility group that will effectively carry out the energy transition and ensure Poland's energy security and independence in terms of feedstock supplies. Karol Wolf, the director of the Strategy and Strategic Projects Office of the PKN Orlen set. This action serves to adapt our energy companies to the challenges of the energy transition. Merger and its consequences was also discussed at 590 Congress in Warsaw. Lotus Group stressed that fuel import and production is crucial, also in the new fuel dimension such as hydrogen generation. Grupa Lotos responded to the PKN Orlen's invitation to build a multi-energy concern. As a part of this concern, we will implement plans related to hydrogen investments. The energy crisis means a spike in electricity charges for end-users. State-owned energy companies want to protect poles from energy poverty. Not everyone knows how to use energy cheaply, safely and efficiently. We also have areas of so-called energy poverty. It is not feasible, but we are working here with local governments to eliminate it. So our business is not only uh, in terms of money, but also a matter of social responsibility. Social responsibility of the corporation was also the subject of conversation between Tomasz Sakiewicz, the editor-in-chief of Gazeta Polska, and Marcin Chludziński, the CEO of KGHM. KGHM is one of the world's largest producers of copper and other metals. It is also a company working on three continents. Apart from economic goals, which are the most important for us as a listed company, we are also a socially responsible one. We support sport, culture, education, um, also in the region where we cooperate with schools and support children's educational programs. This is also important in crisis situations. State-owned companies should be seen and understood by themselves that when an extra effort is needed, it is necessary to help the state. We were very active during the pandemic period, building temporary hospitals and providing equipment. We were also active during the Polish-Belarusian border crisis. During Russia's war with Ukraine, we are providing medical supplies and supporting refugees here in Poland. Russia's war with Ukraine and the impact of the military action on the situation across Europe is the backdrop to discussions about the economy. The war has shown that he who has grain, food and energy has sovereignty. He has something to say. We are succeeded in doing that. We have been doing diversification for many years and very intensively. At the moment, only around 30% of our oil comes from the East, because we are bound by long-term contracts. But we have also made new investments, such as the new Olefins facilities in Płock. Every year we pay almost 40 billion Polish zlotys into the state budget. 